Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Today's video, I'm sharing with you the results from Frugal February. Being frugal for 28 days and I have 28 fabulous frugal hacks to share with you, which could save you up to $20,000 a year, potentially even more. So make sure you watch this vlog all the way to the end. Make sure you please share with me your favorite frugal hack and of course, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that notification bell is switched on because I have more videos to save you even more money and build more money coming your way. Enjoy this very raw, organic vlog inside my frugal world. If you can make your own coffee at home and you do it, say, four times per week instead of going to a cafe, saving on average $4 each time you make your coffee at home, over the course of the year, this is over $830 worth of savings. Embracing my love of snacks. As you guys know, I love banana bread. So for Frugal February, I'm making my own. And I've used up all the old brown bananas and I've stretched out my recipe or my batter, I should say, by adding some frozen raspberries, which is super frugal, super yummy. And this will last me all week, if not longer, as well as my other family members. If you don't ask, you don't get. I just called my energy and gas provider and asked them if there were any better plans available. To my pleasant surprise, there were, and we are going on a variable plan which will incentivize us to be more mindful with using gas and electricity in our house. New frugal habit, embracing zero waste wherever we can. Now I'm using reusable nappies as much as possible and then using the disposable ones at nighttime because I'm trying to get Tiger to sleep through the night now that she's six months old. We're saving money along the way about $20 to $40 per month. But what feels even better is knowing that we're being more responsible and kind to our planet. Feeling very proud of myself. I just saved $48 per month. I gave Foxtel a call and I told them that I was seriously contemplating cancelling our Foxtel account because it was starting to get too expensive and I didn't think that we were making the most of all the channels. Now the consultant was incredibly understanding and super lovely and she went away, came back and said actually I can save you $48 per month if you keep your Foxtel account. So I'm someone who loves clothing, shoes and accessories. I like well-made pieces that are timeless and classic and make me feel good. And in my budget, I have a set amount per month to allow these purchases without ever jeopardizing my financial goals. Now, one area where I save a lot of money and I'm able to afford maybe expensive pieces is by buying pre-loved. There are three areas I recommend or I use regularly when it comes to finding amazing pre-loved pieces. Number one is eBay. Number two is a group called High End on Facebook. There's like 92,000 members in amazing pieces. And then the third is a shop called Trading in Style, which has an Instagram account that you can shop through. Through. Amazing. Now, I also want to share with you dresses in my wardrobe that I bought pre loved. Number one is this Roland Moray dress. I bought it from Gumtree for, no, Gumtree. I bought it from eBay for about $120 or $150. Now, these retail for up to $2,000, so an absolute bargain. Another one is this red Roland Moray dress. Now, again, these are expensive. I think I got this one also from eBay and it's one of those dresses that pulls you in on all the right places and really well made, but also incredibly classic. Cooking in bulk. So last night with our slow cooker, I made a massive spaghetti bolognese. Actually, it's not looking quite as massive now because Tom took some of this work for lunch today. But spaghetti bolognese is a great go-to for my family because everybody loves it, no one complains. And for nights like this, where it is wet and cold and it is pouring with rain, this is a great go-to because it stops me from ordering home delivery or takeaway. So not only are we saving money, but we're saving time and energy as well. Taste over waste every single time by going with imperfect fruit such as the Odd Bunch from Woolworths, the Imperfect Pick from Harris Farm, or 
the Farmer's Pick, which is a subscription service, you are saving money and reducing waste and supporting our farmers, which is so important. So if you have a home loan or an investment loan, my biggest and most valuable Frugal February saving hack for you is to contact your loan provider and demand a better deal. If you look around, which is very easy to do, you can see what other loan providers are offering, what interest rates are available. Go to your loan provider and demand that they either match it or do a better deal. And if they don't, start thinking about walking. Now, of course, you must read the terms and conditions of your loan, particularly if you have a fixed interest rate, so you don't get any break fees. But if you can do this, the savings are huge. I actually did this a couple of months ago, and the savings for our family were in excess of $800 per month, which is just insane. Now, if you're going to go and refinance because you find a much better deal, promise me that you will follow these two very simple sugar mama refinancing rules. Number one is do not restart the loan term. Say, for example, you are seven years into a 30-year loan term. Do not restart a new 30-year term because you are just delaying and putting off paying your home loan off. Ideally, you want to own your home outright as quickly as possible because you'll save hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest most of the time. So what you would simply do is demand that your loan provider keep the loan term as is. So in this case, it would be a 23 year term. The second rule that you must follow is to use those interest rate savings to increase your mortgage repayments or keep them the same. So say for example, my mortgage repayment under my current interest rate is say $3,000 per month, but by refinancing, my loan repayments are going to be say 2,700 per month. What I recommend you do is try and keep the loan repayments as they are, that is $3,000 per month. So that way I am knocking off an extra $300 per month off my home loan. The benefit of doing this is you will save tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of interest, making those savings really count. And of course, you'll be paying off your home loan so much sooner. And if you wanna know more, just check out the Sugar Mama calculators so you can see exactly how those savings really add up. Frugal hack. I love to paint my own toenails. Now, I'm not particularly good at doing this, so what my trick is, I always go with a natural nude or pink so that you can't see all the errors. Also, with my nails or my hands, I'd like to embrace the natural look, so I'll just keep them looking short, clean, and healthy. And when it comes to a special occasion, that's when I'll go and get a professional manicure and pedicure. This saves me $50 each month. Frugal hack, but also, financial focus hack and that is to unsubscribe from any website that tempts you to spend money such as fashion a great frugal alternative to going out for breakfast on the weekend is create your own luxurious pleasures at home i bought some gourmet chocolate croissants and so delicious a fraction of the price frugal hack the power of a proactive transfer so i have hit the halfway mark and i'm gonna be honest i'm starting to get pretty exhausted however what is making a really big difference in helping me stay motivated and focused is proactively transferring every time i save some money excuse my cat um, and at the end of every day checking my accounts and watching it all add up because i'll tell you what every dollar counts Frugal beauty hacks, actually fabulous frugal beauty hacks. All right, first up, a good pair of tweezers so that you don't need to get your eyebrows professionally shaped as often. This saves me a fortune. I still get them done professionally, but I stretch out my appointments as much as I can by maintaining them myself with these bad boys. Next up is doing your own self tan. Now over here, I, I have a range of different self tans that I use depending on the shade that I want and my budget at the time. In the shower, cheap spray can, a mousse, or my number one favorite, Clarins. Third up is this skin peeling glove. Figari, I think it is. Now, this has lasted me years and years. It's not in great condition. I think it's due to be replaced, but I will never ever go and buy body scrubs. I just use this. And then finally, taking care of your hair long term so that you don't need to get it cut as often. Simple things like 
a hair mask, which you can also make yourself with honey and avocado. And of course, having good quality styling equipment that doesn't fry your hair. This is a good one with the cold air. And obviously using, oh, I don't have it freely available right now, using a spray before you use styling products. More cooking in bulk. Perfect for nights where I know I'm gonna be tired and tempted to get home delivery or takeaway. And again, making more spaghetti bolognese in my slow cooker so it's soft and tender, perfect for the end of the day. Saving money with zero waste frugal cleaning tools. Now, each of these cost a couple of dollars and you can find them at your local supermarket. And what's even better about these, they're so good, you don't even need any cleaning solutions. So you're saving more money and the planet. Literally, you just need hot water. And another great tool, which I highly recommend, which I've recommended in the past, is these plate toppers, instead of having to use and buy Glad Wrap. Actually, on that note of cleaning, you can also grab newspapers to clean glass and mirrors. And for my kids that grow so quickly and can ruin clothes very quickly, I definitely buy pre-loved clothing. And I will link below a few Instagram accounts, which I absolutely love. But super pretty clothes you can pick up for a fraction of the price that have been barely been worn. Brilliant food saving hack, which I was always told as a child. Eat up the bits before you go to the supermarket for a big shop. You can stretch out your grocery shop so much more by just eating up all the leftovers. Personal insurances. So I have life cover, TPD cover, trauma cover, and income protection. Now, this is not personal advice in any way whatsoever, but what I like to do to help maximize my cash flow, which goes towards paying off our mortgage, is I have my life cover, TPD cover, and income protection owned and paid for via my super. That means the premiums are covered via super. Now, please be aware there are consequences of doing this. However, this personally works for me in my frugal ways. Brilliant frugal hack is when you're at the supermarket, always go and grab your fresh produce from the back of the supermarket shelf so that the date is the furthest away from expiring. You'll have so much more food that lasts so much longer. So I love having flowers in my home, but this can be expensive. So this is what I do. You can actually buy orchids from most local supermarkets and these can last up to three months. Behind me is a succulent garden and this again will last you years. Or another great idea is to buy a bunch of single cut flowers, break them down into individual vases and spread the love across your home. Brilliant frugal food hack, have set meals on set days. For example, Monday night, spaghetti bolognese, Tuesday night, salmon salad, Wednesday night is a chicken curry. That way you know exactly what groceries you need to buy, you don't deviate, and you're also incredibly organized. Frugal hack, use up any unused credit notes, gift cards, and vouchers.